Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss addition and double argument formulas under the concept called hyperbolic functions which are hyperbolic sin x plus y is equal to hyperbolic sin x into hyperbolic cos y plus hyperbolic cos x into hyperbolic sin y and similarly all these are the formulas relating to hyperbolic functions and now let us try to prove one formula over here so in order to prove we already know the definition of hyperbolic sin x and hyperbolic cos y so by substituting those values we get e power x minus e power minus x divided by 2 into the value of hyperbolic cos y which is e power y plus e power minus y divided by 2 plus of hyperbolic cos x which is e power x plus e power minus x divided by 2 into hyperbolic sine y which is e power y minus e power minus y divided by 2 and here by multiplying we get the denominator as 4 so let us take 1 by 4 as the common factor from both the terms then the function would become 1 by 4 into and by multiplying the numerators we get e power x into e power y which would be e power x plus y here we get plus of e power x minus y then minus into plus which becomes minus so we get e power minus x into e power y which would be e power minus x plus y then minus into plus is again minus so we get minus e power minus x minus y and now come at the next term here by multiplying we get e power x plus y then we get minus e power x minus y plus of e power minus x plus y then we get minus e power minus x minus y and now let us cancel the terms having opposite signs so here this term gets cancelled and then again this term also gets cancelled as they have opposite signs and then we are left with 1 by 4 into e power x plus y plus e power x plus y which would become 2 into e power x plus y then here we have minus sign so let us take minus and by adding both the terms we get 2 into e power minus x minus y and then taking 2 as the common factor we get 1 by 4 into 2 into e power x plus y minus of e power and then taking minus as the common factor we get minus of x plus y and here 2 and 4 gets cancelled and we are left with e power x plus y minus of e power minus of x plus y divided by 2 and this is the definition of sine so we get hyperbolic sine x plus y which is the value on the LHS sign. So by considering the LHS sign, we have proved the value on the LHS sign. And similarly, we can also prove all these formulas. And now let us proceed and discuss double argument formulas such as hyperbolic sine 2x is equal to 2 hyperbolic sine x into hyperbolic cos x. And this formula can also be written in terms of tan and these formulas are similar to those of the formulas of multiple angles but here h represents the hyperbolic functions so this is the formula for hyperbolic sine 2x and now let us try to prove this formula so hyperbolic sine 2x can be written as hyperbolic sine x plus x and by using the formulas of addition theorems we can write this in the form of hyperbolic sine x into hyperbolic cos x plus hyperbolic cos x into hyperbolic sin x and by observing these are similar terms so just add them so by adding we get 2 hyperbolic sin x into hyperbolic cos x so in this way we proved this formula and now let us try to prove the formula for hyperbolic sin 3x so similarly we can write this in the form of hyperbolic sine 2x plus x and again by using addition theorem over here we can write this in the form of sine hyperbolic 2x into hyperbolic cos x plus hyperbolic cos 2x into hyperbolic sine x and here by using this formula of hyperbolic 2x we get 2 hyperbolic sine x into hyperbolic cos x into this term which is hyperbolic cos x plus of and here by using double argument formula of hyperbolic cos 2x in terms of sine which is this one 
we get 1 plus 2 hyperbolic sine square x into this term which is hyperbolic sine x. So here by multiplying these both terms we get hyperbolic cos square x and now let us change this term in terms of sine. So by changing it we get 2 hyperbolic sine x into 1 plus hyperbolic sine square x plus of and by multiplying we get 1 into hyperbolic sine x which is hyperbolic sine x plus 2 hyperbolic sine cube x and now let us multiply these both terms so we get 2 hyperbolic x plus 2 hyperbolic sine cube x plus of hyperbolic sine x plus 2 sine hyperbolic sine cube x and now by adding these both terms we get 3 hyperbolic sine x and the remaining terms are this so we'll just add them so we get plus 4 into hyperbolic sine cube x so this is the value on the RHS side so hence we proved the formula of hyperbolic sine 3x so make a note of all these formulas and these formulas are useful in solving examples in upcoming videos so stay tuned thanks for watching have a nice day